Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and in this video, I'm gonna show you my desk setup that allows me to be incredibly productive. This is the desk setup that I've been working on for about the past eight to 10 years, iterating on it. And I'm really excited to show you in this video, the tools and the devices that make me really productive while also giving me an incredibly comfortable and ergonomic workspace. These are tools that allow me to work easily 12 to even 15 hours a day without getting distracted, without getting tired, and while being really comfortable and productive throughout the day. So, like I said, really excited to show you this stuff. I wanna start off with, obviously, the main event here being the desk. So, the desk is actually, it has a fun story. I built this back when I was in college, I was studying engineering, and I always wanted a sit-stand desk. I wanted a desk that I could stand at, but as a mechanical engineer, I, I thought there had to be a better way than having a desk that moves up and down. Up and down desks are expensive, you have to plug them in, or otherwise they need a battery, and they're, they're slow, they're annoying to move, and really the big one was wire management. Cable management was a total nightmare with them because it's always moving, so what I did was I built a desk that's permanently high. So I have a desk that's always up, and then I have a chair, it's an architect's chair, that's also really high. So I can stand at my desk, I built this entirely out of wood when I was in college, and I've been using it ever since. It's great to customize, and it's the perfect height. I literally designed it right for my ergonomics. And on the desk, you can see we have a riser up top, it acts as a shelf for some things I'll show you in just a second. But I wanna point out also a part of the desk is underneath the riser. Here I mounted, I thought this was a cool idea. These are actually under cabinet lights. They're meant for a kitchen, but they work really well here to give you a soft, even lighting across the entire desk. And on top of that, they're LEDs, so they don't produce any heat. And really the big one is that on the back here, they actually have a dimmer. So I can change the brightness of this to exactly what I want. It's a warm yellow light, so later in the evening, uh, your circadian rhythm, you're gonna be, you want warm or light so you can sleep well at night. And so that's why I chose a warm white. During the day, I have a lot of windows behind me, so I get a lot of white ambient light. That, again, makes you a little bit more energized in the morning. I used to actually work for a company that designed lighting and dimmers, and, and so that's why the lighting was, was really important to me when I built this desk. Now, on the desk, the actual machine that I've been doing all of my editing with, all of my work recently, this is the 27-inch 2020 iMac from Apple. This has an Intel i9 processor on there, so it's incredibly powerful, very, very fast, and just plows through edits like nothing, has a lot of RAM, but it doesn't have a lot of storage. I actually didn't opt for much storage on here because behind the iMac, I have an eight terabyte WD external hard drive, and this allows me to store all of my videos on there. I opted for an external hard drive because I use many, many terabytes of storage for these videos, and so I'm always cycling through them. I have my old videos over on a shelf. Next to that, I have a second monitor. Now this is a 4K monitor from LG, and it really does a great job of allowing me to edit videos and photos on here, but really the iMac has a slightly better display, so I use that for most of my editing. This is really just a secondary device that allows me to have my email or my calendar and things like that up here. And this monitor, because this is only a four foot desk, I actually mounted that on a different stand that screws directly into the desk. So again, one of the big benefits of having a wooden desk, I stained the desk so it looks a little nicer, but one of the benefits is that I can just mount things directly on this desk. So this is a monitor stand. I'm able to move this monitor up and down. So if I want to stand and for some reason I want this a little bit higher, that is a benefit I have right there. It's very easy to adjust this monitor. Now, moving over here, the one kind of drawback to this iMac setup is that the iMac has all of its ports on the back. So I opted to get a dongle for this. This one is a Vision Tech dongle. I bought it from Dell's website. It was a little bit more expensive, but it gives me uh, two USB type A ports and two USB type C ports. Moving over here a little bit further, this is kind of a little quirky part of my desk. Back when I was an engineer, I, I bought a 3D printer and, and I've actually been using that to customize my desk quite a bit. So you can see we have a headphone holder on the top and this is where I have my AirPods Max. Now the AirPods Max aren't my everyday headphones, but I have them there because if there's a quick Zoom call or any kind of meeting and somebody's calling my iMac, I quickly pick those up. They connect instantly because they're in the Apple ecosystem. And the reason I have a pen holder sounds like kind of a weird thing to have, but I didn't want to have anything sitting on my desk that I could knock over or took up space. And I really only need one pen. So having that there, actually is really convenient. Now, the glasses I mentioned, I don't wear corrective lenses. These are blue light filtering glasses. 
And although I don't really subscribe to wearing them all day, my eyes don't really get fatigued. If I'm working late at night, however, I do like to have these on so I'm able to sleep a little bit better. Oh, and one other thing with lighting, I actually just added this LED strip behind my monitor. Uh, I don't always have it on, but sometimes late at night, it's, it's kind of fun. And then the other thing on the side here, you'll notice I actually have a little kind of mount there that has a bunch of different SD cards, SIM cards, any type of USB stick. It all goes right there, which is incredibly convenient if I'm gonna start filming something. I just run over, grab an SD card, and I have all of my SD cards in one place. Actually, there is one other thing I, I didn't point out, and that is this device right here. So currently, this is my iPhone 13 Pro. That's been my everyday carry for my main personal phone. And I wanted to have this on my desk so that I can get notifications for calendar events and things like that, because I used to miss a lot of meetings. It's kind of embarrassing, but I don't have notifications on my iMac and I would just totally miss meetings. So I allow notifications on my iPhone. I have it sitting next to me. And this little thing is actually from Anchor, which is a MagSafe stand that doubles as a MagSafe battery pack. So if my battery is almost dead on my iPhone, which really doesn't happen much, but if it is, I can just grab this and go and it's gonna charge my phone while I'm on the go. And when I'm here, I can just mount it back where it was and it acts as a regular charging stand for my iPhone. And below that, we actually have another charging pad that charges either earbuds or some other phone, maybe an Android phone, for example. And so it saves space on my desk while also giving me a lot of effective productivity. And so here we are at my second desk, really close to my first desk. And this is a duplicate in design of my original desk with some really subtle changes I'll point out in a minute, as well as explaining why I have so many smartwatches and things like that. But first I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is HP Accessories. On my desk, I have a mouse and keyboard, which controls both my tablet and my laptop. And the mouse and keyboard I chose are actually the HP ones. That's why I let them sponsor this video. So this is the HP 975 dual mode keyboard. And this is the HP 435 multi-device mouse. So these two things allow me to connect to both these devices and manage them without taking up a lot of space, which increases my productivity by giving me more space for things like my notebook. Now, the keyboard, as you can see, connects by two different, you can have two different Bluetooth connections here and switch between them with a key on the top right, or you can use the USB and plug it in as I have with my tablet here, and I can switch between them very, very easily. Now, the mouse, you can also switch between either Bluetooth, as I have connected to my laptop, or you can go by a USB uh, wireless again connection, but it's USB this time, again, connected to my tablet. So this, which is a simple little press of a button here and there, I can switch between my laptop and my tablet very, very easily. And on top of that, the keyboard is a full-size keyboard, number pad on the right side, has backlit, it's, uh, it's charged by USB Type-C, as you can see on the top. You've got little feet that can make the angle different. And so this really makes my desk setup a lot more productive. So special thanks to HP for sending these over and for sponsoring this video. Continuing on with the other things I have on this desk. I just mentioned I have a tablet and a laptop, but there's a lot more to them. So the tablet is actually the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. I made a full review about that. It's probably the best Android tablet on the market right now. And I have this, so very big, nice display. I have it set up on an anchor stand. Now this stand, it does more than just hold the tablet at a nice angle because I mean, the case could already do that. It holds it up off the desk, makes it a little bit easier, not as much eye strain looking all the way down on the keyboards there. And it also acts as a hub. So it plugs in by USB type C, of course, on the tablet. And then it allows you to apply power. So you can supply power from the back. It has two USB type A ports. And it also has on the side a micro SD and a regular SD port. So you can plug in all types of accessories to your tablet, really making it a lot more effective and productive. Now, the reason I even have a tablet here, one is so I have the Android ecosystem. Two, because Samsung makes really nice displays, so it's great to watch media on. And three, because I love taking notes with the S Pen as I have located on the back. It just Now, the laptop, like I said, I do have the M1 Max MacBook Pro. That's what I use when I travel, but here I still have my really pretty old HP Spectre. I got this about three or four years ago. I've been using it for a pretty long time. It doesn't really, I don't edit with it anymore. More lighter tasks is what I'm really using it for, but it's nice to have a Windows laptop in the space so I can you know, set up things like my 3D printer or just use different software that sometimes is better run on Windows. Now this is actually set up on a stand somebody sent me. It's really nice because I can change the height of this. And again, a little bit less strain on your neck from looking down so much. So I love having that. Now for the elephant in the room, I know you guys are probably wondering why I have so many watches. 
If you're new to the channel, you probably wouldn't know this. My name is Mike O'Brien, and I review a lot of earbuds and smartwatches and phones. And, and over the years, I've accumulated quite a few smartwatches. That's my collection of smartwatches now. Uh, a lot of them I use for different purposes. Some of them are just analog watches. And I, I just put them all there, and it makes me happy. I like having them. Up here, I have a shelf that is, again, has these, these under cabinet lights. These are more of a white light. And the reason for that is because I want to use this more for uh, top-down filming. So a lot of the shots you might see in my videos where it's like a top-down handheld shot, I'm showing you earbuds or a watch, it's almost always filmed right here. And I have this nice little mount that actually connects really quickly to my camera. I have one on every single tripod I own, so I just clip the camera off snap it on there. I never have to thread anything in or do anything like that. It's a really easy and convenient quick connect system. And in the corner back here, I actually have a Koval adapter. So this plugs in to a regular outlet on the bottom. And then up here, it gives me two USB type A ports and two USB type C ports for power delivery. And I use these to charge my laptop or to charge my tablet or any smartwatches, things like that. Having all the outlets, the USB ports right on the top right here is so convenient for charging things. And on the desk itself, the only other thing I really have is my leather bound notebook. Although I have a lot of digital devices and I love using tablets and things, there's really something about just an analog, just writing on paper. And so I love to collect my ideas, my thoughts and plan out, you know, content in the future and everything like that. I do that with this leather bound notebook. I have a whole stack of them. Whenever I run out uh, of pages, I just buy another one of the identical notebook. This one's mag gift notebook from, or mag gift, mag gift probably. Uh, it's from Amazon. And again, I can link this down below if you guys want, but that is this desk setup right here. Again, Android, Windows, and a lot of top-down kind of paper, handheld, things like that. And it's a really, really effective desk. So I didn't talk a lot about any kind of decorations or plants I have on my desk. One of the big things, as you might have seen in any of my other videos, is plants. I, I have a lot of plants. I, I like having plants. I feel like they help me feel a little bit more energized throughout the day. And it is kind of just a nice, fun thing to have. You can see it grow throughout the year. And so I have... As you can see here, quite a few different plants around me. Some of them hanging, some of them lower. And of course, I've got my, my good old yucca right over here. But besides that, I have some other decorations. I change these out from time to time. But this is a cool one that you might have seen in the background of my studio. Uh, I have a second one right here. This is a disassembled phone from uh, Grid Studios. They sent this over for free and they didn't pay me to do this. I just thought it was really cool. So I have one on my desk and I have one above my other desk for an original Apple Watch. So let's get back to this desk right here. There's three things on the floor that I didn't mention that are actually incredibly important to my productivity. And the first one is actually a backup battery for my desktop. This is something that I think a lot of people with the desktop don't think about, but if the power cuts out, you lose all of your work. And so having a backup battery down there allows me to save my work. I have about an hour to do that, and then I can log off, turn it off. And on top of that, it's also protecting my computer because it does have a surge protector on there. So it's a really a great device that allows me to protect my computer as well as the work I'm working on in case something happens with the power. The second thing is actually what I'm standing on right now. This is a foam mat I found on Amazon for about $50. Some of them run as much as $100. And it's a really nice foam mat so I don't have to wear shoes inside while I'm still able to stand all day without any discomfort on my feet. It has different bumps so I can change my posture very slightly and you can kind of massage your feet on these different bumps around there. It's really comfortable and anybody who visits my office and stands on it always ends up buying one. They're, it's really a nice thing to have. And then the final thing, the last but not least, let me get him. This, this is our buddy Kyle. He's a Roomba, he cleans the floor every day, and one of the best ways to improve your productivity, in my opinion, is to eliminate the things that are just meaningless, subtle little tasks. And one of them is vacuuming or mopping or things like that. And so that's why I purchased the Roomba. He goes around, cleans the office every single day, and just saves me that extra time so I don't have to do that, while still giving me a nice, clean office space so I, I don't have to be distracted by dirt everywhere. It's a really nice benefit. Now, this is a Roomba i7. It needs a little bit more maintenance than I would like, but it still gets the job done. So that's it, that's my office setup. But it's definitely not done being improved. I've always been iterating on this, so if you have any suggestions with your own office or with my desk setup, leave them down below. I'm always interested to hear about any new devices that you recommend, or maybe any questions you have about why I did things a certain way. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.